first of all create the service file okay you can use uh, sudo for sudo for root privileges beam the text editor or use any other editor that you that you want gedit or nano okay i'm using beam etsy system d system and in this directory create the service file choose any name any name that you want i will use a descriptive name so for example ram log okay this is the name and that service okay Okay, this is a new file and it's placed it in this directory. Okay. Header. The password. Okay, I key to insert on insert mode on beam. Set the unit. I will use after equal will be a network that service the script will run after the network connection okay the script will run after the network connection and you can use other options but this is very good now set the service case sensitive execution exec start and use the path okay the the path for the for the script uh, i will i will place the script on usr local being and this is the directory usr local being and choose a name for the script okay i will use the the same name ram log ram dash log that but in this case the extension will be sh for the shell script okay this is the new file this directory already exists and this is the new file the file for the script Okay, enter and uh, finally install okay sensitive okay one by okay default dot target okay one that by default target okay the system unit Okay, I will use the default and that's it. Escape key, colon, W and Q. Write and quit. Okay, and now I will test the, um, before to curate the script, I will test the, the command, the command that will be executed at, at boot. Uh, system startup okay, for example sudo free and option h okay enter and now you can see uh, this is the command sudo for root privileges free to for free is the command and h the option and now you can see the memory the run total use it free okay also the swap total swap about uh, use at zero free about three gigabytes okay this is this is the command and uh, create a script sudo beam the text editor beam and remember the path usr 
local being. Okay, this is the path. This is the path. Remember that. This is the path that was set on the service file. Okay, and remember the the name for the new file ram log sh for the script. The same path and the same name that was set on the service file. Okay, and enter I key to insert and insert mode. Okay, and beam bash. Okay, exclamation beam bash. Okay, and now the commands. Okay, you can uh, you can print the date. Use the date command. Okay, you don't need the you don't you don't need sudo for you don't you don't need sudo for root privileges. Okay, you don't need sudo because uh, the commands will be executed by the root. Okay, and don't worry about this and print the date and time and redirect the value to a file. Okay, a file, for example, uh, ram-log.txt. This is the log. Or use a log extension or any that you want. It's a txt file. We place this file in a directory. Uh, you can use root directory, okay? And if root will execute this command, uh, it's very good to sh to save this uh, file in the root directory, okay? Okay. Also. Uh, append the information on the on the text file enter and okay and use another command uh, free command with option h very nice and you don't need sudo and also on root on root directory and append on and save in the same file ram log that txt in the same file happen the information in the same file and that's it this is the script you will execute two commands and save the information on this file ram dash log escape key colon write and quit w and quit okay and set the permissions the privileges for um, these two files, for the service file and for the script, sudo ch mode, uh, these uh, privileges for the script, user local beam ram dash log, and this another for For the service at C, system D, system RAM. Okay, for the service, set the service and enable the service on the system startup. Okay, enable the service at boot sudo system cdl demon dash reload and enable the service okay the service uh, this service only the the name of the file run dash log that service enter okay now very good the Symbolic link was created, very nice.
Okay, now reboot the system. Uh, first, verify the contents of the root directory sudo ls root. Okay, you have only two files. Okay, I will reboot the system sudo shutdown option r now. Okay, and now review sudo ls root password for root. Now you have a new file, the RAM log. Review sudo uh, cat root ram dash log dot txt. Now you can see the date and time and the and the RAM free space. So you can execute the command or commands that you want. Okay, thank you very much.